and you can monitor your website name, your brand name, you can monitor the sports team that you like, but it's not in real time. So as soon as I find something that is in real time that has all of these under one umbrella, I'll definitely let you guys know about that. Um, and I'll try madeinsocial.com, but I'm not sure that someone really does that in real time and in one place. Um, Ra Radian 6 does a good job, but they charge um, at a lot higher rate for keywords, so not everyone can afford to use a tool like that. Yeah, and one thing you could also do, I mean, she mentioned um, Hootsuite, and Hootsuite's really cool from a standpoint of, of doing some searches. So you could go out and you could do keyword searches, or you could do hashtag searches, and build yourself a column uh, that goes out and pulls you information on that keyword or that hashtag. And you can set up tons of those things. So if you've got you know, a bunch of teams that you're following or a bunch of you know, players that you're following um, you, to kind of track people's interest in them and, and to be a part of the discussion there, uh, you can set those things up within Hootsuite. Uh, Hootsuite's also got some fun tools that you know, let you know how many times your stuff gets passed on and um, you know, how many times your, your uh, posts get viewed and interacted with. So it's a pretty cool tool, and it's pretty, pretty affordably priced too. Yeah, they'll let you use the tool for free, and then if you want to add other team members or a, a lot of accounts, then it's, it's very, very cost-effective. And it, I forgot to mention that, but what Wade said about the keywords is another great way not only to monitor what's going on with whatever team you're following, but also to monitor what's being said about your personal brand and to monitor your competitors. And you can set up as many streams as you want, as he mentioned. So that's another great tool. And then I think um, the last slide is if you need any more tips or you want to hear um, any innovative social media news, we post a lot of that on facebook.com slash micromedia marketing. And um, this is where you can follow us on Twitter. So if you have any questions, you can always send me a tweet. And I tend to get back to people uh, fairly quickly maybe even more so than I check my emails. So um, I hope you got something out of this, and I hope that you apply, you know, trying to make this personalized, not automating so much, but really making real connections, because that's what's going to be long term, and that's what's going to really turn your brand into a known brand that has some brand loyalty and some good following from the people that you're interacting with. So thank you so much for your time, and have a great night. And thank you, Wade, for inviting me on your webinar. Does anybody have any questions that they want to go ahead and throw out? You can, you can put them in the, uh, the question box, or if you want to you know, do the little hand raise thing, I could probably uh, unmute you and let you ask a question. Uh, looks like a question from Sandy. Okay. Um, <laughs> so a little bit of feedback. We, we threw a, a stuff out there that might be a little bit more advanced, but we can certainly come back. Um, maybe I'll do a webinar down, down the road here. We'll, we'll start some of the, with some of the really basic stuff, like how to set up a Twitter account, and just really the basics, because I think we, we might have gotten on ahead of a couple of people. But I apologize for sure. that, Sandy. And we'll see if we can uh, come up with something that uh, maybe we can post some uh, – you know, post some good content that can help get the, the, new, the new folks caught up because there is a lot to it, and it can definitely yeah. feel a little bit overwhelming. I know that I've been there. <laughs> if it does feel overwhelming, start with one thing. Don't start with several platforms, and just write about content that you know, and then um, start to see, maybe search and see what some other people are doing. Um, but yeah, don't, you don't have to do everything at once, and you can start slowly um, and start, you know, everybody has to start somewhere. So if you're already on Facebook, start looking at some of the fan pages. Look at, look at the Football Fanatics fan page on Facebook. They do a pretty good job, and you can start seeing um, what kind of things you might want to post. Okay. There, was one, there was one hand raised. Sorry, I, I cleared it. Is there another question out there? Questions, comments, feedback? Okay, and what we'll do as well, actually, it's like, 
think that's it for now. Okay, cool. And so what we'll do is if you've got any other questions on on this, you can definitely feel free to uh, follow up with Steph. Um, you can also email me. Um, I've been doing this for a long time as well. Uh, okay, it looks like Bob has a question. Bob, do you have a microphone there? Can I unmute you? Hello? Yes. Hi. Hi there. Thank you. Hi, great. Great great webinar. I, I, I don't know if you touched. I came on a little late, but uh, it, it, you, did you talk about um, YouTube and using that? We did not talk. Well, I mentioned YouTube a couple times. But we didn't go into too much detail. But basically, I did recommend uh, trying to post a short video. It doesn't have to be anything professional. Something from like one to two minutes that you can upload to YouTube. You can tag, um, if you're, you are using YouTube, when you upload the videos, you can tag specific keywords that are related to the video to make it more easily searchable. And you can also, um, in the description of the YouTube video, post a, a little description of it and then post a link back to your site. Now, I was saying um, don't post directly to where people can purchase and don't make it a hard sale. Try to create a blog post. So if you did do a video and you were at um, the San Francisco Giants game, and you then took that video and did a short blog post. That's another thing. The blog posts don't have to be take you hours to do. They can be a couple paragraphs. They can be a few paragraphs. And you briefly describe, you know, I was at the opening of the San Francisco Giants game. So many people came out, blah, 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 blah. Um, you share your experience. You share what's in the video. You um, have that video up on your blog. That's where I would really drive people back to. So normally on um, Twitter, I would try to drive them back to the blog that has the YouTube video embedded. A lot of people will find your video directly through YouTube, um, but you want to start sending people back to your site so that they're not only seeing your video, but they're getting more familiar with your whole brand and other things that you're doing. And the videos will make them spend a lot more time on your site. Right, and at that point, they can also subscribe to your RSS feed, or they can subscribe to your newsletter, or um, you know maybe they're going to see some banner ads, or they're going to see the uh, you know get your you know get your San Francisco Giants jersey here uh, tag that you have just below your blog post. Okay. Okay. And Great. you know, so, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I'm sorry. So so basically, you're using your blog as everyone's going to your blog. Uh, from Facebook, tweet, Twitter, um, YouTube, um, dig it, or wherever, right? Right. You use all those social media platforms as tools to drive traffic back to your site and to engage people and try to keep them on your site, where then eventually they can go spend more time and purchase things. Um, but the place where you're really showing the interesting information, you're trying to capture people's attention, is to send them back to the blog. That's what I recommend. Okay, do you pick like hot topics then out there and then, and then put that out? Is that kind of your idea too with that? Yeah, well basically we want to do themed posts where Monday through Friday people know what to expect. They know on Thursday they're going to see a video and if they enjoy videos they might come back to us every Thursday and that's what they're really paying attention to. Um, but of course if you can relate any hot topic or anything big going on in sports um, that relates to your audience that's relevant, that other people are talking about, that can actually get you more traffic, then by all means, have the blog post that you're writing about have, relate to, to something that's trending or that's going on in the news. That'll get you more traffic. <laughs> um, Great. Thank you. You're welcome. Wade, I, I wanted to clarify something about the Twitter list, how I said you can set up a Twitter list that's private that um, you can follow your competitors from. Um, so nobody will be able to see the Twitter list because it'll be private and they're not going to be um, in your normal Twitter stream. Okay. So I think, I think I said they would be. I wanted to double check on that. If you normally follow them, um, you'll see them, but if you don't, they're not going to be on your normal Twitter stream. They're only going to be in your private list. 
Right. I just wanted to clear that up. Sure. And if you want to see the way that you know how the, the lists break out, you can either check out you know, check out Steph's account um, at Micro Steph, or you can check out my account. Mine's at Affiliate Warrior, and it's A F F I L E eight Warrior. And I've got some lists on there where I break it into like uh, affiliate marketing rock stars, and I've got people that I that I you know personally follow and that I learn from all the time. And I've got, you know, like social, I think I've got one called, you know, blog, blogging beasts or something like that where I've got, you know, people that are big in the blogging space. And so you can organize, you know, if you were an NFL, uh, somebody that tweets a lot in the NFL, you could build a list of your favorite NFL tweeters. And, and then other people can, you know, browse that list and see who they want to follow from there. So the lists are really pretty cool. And yeah, there's something they that I've had, a lot of, I've had a lot of fun with and I've actually, you know, started to put a lot of, you know, a lot more thought into, you know, when I follow somebody, how do I want to, you know, kind of classify them to help people out who are following me trying to learn something. Okay, any um, other questions? If, Sorry, go ahead. No, I was going to say, if people want to do a more basic one where we show how to set up a fan page, how to set up a Twitter account, and how to do those specific steps, um, I don't know if there's any way for you to engage them on what they would really want to see. But I, I would be open to doing another one with you and setting that up in the future. Cool. Yeah, let's do that. How many, hand, to do the little hand raise thing, how many people will be up for that? The super basics. I know there's, I see some some more advanced folks on here too, but I know that there's a lot of affiliates okay. out of the group yeah, that would be totally I up for that. This was, I thought this was um, not advanced, but I can see how we can go. Um, to the basics on not just the strategy, but more like how to get set up and how to get started, like cool. a 101, yeah. Okay. Well, well thank we'll... you, everyone. I guess um, we don't have any more questions. So. Yep. We'll call it good. Uh, thanks a lot, Steph, for joining us. Um, you can follow Steph once again at MicroSteph on Twitter, and I highly recommend it. There's there's good stuff coming out every day from uh, – her stream, so definitely want to check that out. Um, next week, you're going to be Jason Rubaki from ShareASale back again talking about um, SEO. It's going to be kind of version two. It's going to be the more advanced stuff, but uh, Stephanie knows uh, Jason as well. He's he's uh, he's a machine, so yeah, <laughs> you definitely, definitely want to check the, definitely want to check that out. Is this webinar going to be available yeah. uh, for people that weren't able to attend? To listen it will be to available, later? definitely. It will be available. Uh, we'll probably post it on Monday, and if you wanted to, uh, we can go ahead and make it available to you as well. Awesome. Cool. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. Alrighty. Thanks, Steph. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.